The James Webb Telescope has completely changed the way we look at our universe, and it has taken us billions of years back in time. But recently, some scientists have reportedly confirmed that James Webb might be on its way to prove the most talked about theory of Stephen Hawking. This theory is the existence of multiverse and dark matter, and it has been a nightmare for astronomers and physicists around the world because they were unable to understand it till only recently. The multiverse theory was rejected by so many esteemed scientists, and just when they thought it won't be making waves in the scientific world anymore, they found something new that might prove the theory of dark matter by Stephen Hawking after all. So make sure to watch till the end to find it all out. It all started back in 1974, when Stephen Hawking started working with his colleague, Bernard Carr, who was a PhD student. Together, they theorized that dark matter, that was already theorized at that time, might be made of black holes. This theory went on becoming one of the most controversial theories in Stephen Hawking's career. According to Hawking, black holes were formed after the most chaotic incident of the Big Bang happened. They basically are the bundle of excessive matter that is highly dense and is scattered around the universe. Hawking's theory suggested that these black holes might be the basis of dark matter, as they formed even before the first star shined bright in space. However, scientists never really took this theory seriously, and they mainly considered dark matter as a separate entity from black holes. A lot of physicists even tried to find an entirely new subatomic particle that could explain the existence of dark matter, and it went in vain every single time. But after all these years, the time has finally come when we have enough technology that we could actually prove the existence of dark matter. As we've already seen a quite clear picture of black holes with the help of James Webb, we might even be able to find out the truth about the dark matter quite soon too. Recently, three astronomers have actually taken the dark matter theory of Stephen Hawking and have modified it a bit and developed a new theory that not just explains the existence of dark matter, but also tells us a lot about what the largest of black holes look like in the universe. The new theory is proposed by two physicists in Yale, and they've said that it's really exciting for them to solve two of the biggest problems in the world of both physics and astronomy. First, this theory will help us better understand the nature of dark matter, and secondly, it will help us take a sneak peek at the formation of black holes. Moreover, scientists previously argued that, according to Hawking's theory, if there are a lot of black holes of big size, then the radiation from them would be completely different than that we know of from the cosmic microwave background. It meant that the black holes had to be of a limited size and limit in order to maintain the CMB of the space. This argument obviously had a lot of merit, so scientists didn't go into depth of Hawking's theory. However, in 2015, astronomers from Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory found something that blew their minds. They actually got to see the first black holes that were colliding and, to their surprise, these black holes were a lot bigger than they ever imagined. With this massive size, it was apparent that these black holes were not formed because of dying stars, but they formed during the early universe. According to the physicist working on the new theory, if there are any black holes that were present during the beginning of time, then there's a high chance that they gave birth to all the other black holes to exist in the universe and in our Milky Way. This theory isn't as complicated to understand, and it won't require the discovery of any new particles. Capaluti the scientists working on the new theory said that they haven't discovered a new particle or crafted any laws of physics just to prove their theory. They simply used the existing understanding of physics and explained the nature of dark matter and the birth of black holes that are extremely massive. There also is a theory by scientists that has blown the minds of a lot of people, because this theory suggests that 85% of all matter that exists in the universe is dark matter. But despite that, we've never really seen or detected it in space, which raises a lot of eyebrows too. Not only this, but we've also gathered traces of radiation from huge distances, and the source that's causing this radiation is very dim. So, it wouldn't be wrong to assume that there are a lot of supermassive black holes present across the universe, and they're all formed by primordial black holes that could also be dark matter if this theory gets proven. The scientists working on this theory also added that the measurement of radiation they get from distant universes is exactly how much radiation would be present in the signature of growing black holes. It is now being said by the leading scientists in the world that James Webb can determine whether primordial black holes exist in the universe or not, and this might completely change the way we see our universe. If James Webb manages to find massive black holes, that would simply mean that dark matter actually exists in the form of these black holes. James Webb will soon be looking into it, 
and the scientists are hopeful that it will find something that could help them move forward with their research. It is actually going to be historic in the world of science because James Webb would be looking billions of years back and would be solving the mysteries of the very first things that were formed since the beginning of time. Scientists are also trying to collect data from gravitational waves during the merger of these early black holes. If there is any galaxy that formed during that time when there was no light and the universe was in absolute darkness after the Big Bang, the Webb telescope would be able to identify it quite easily. James Webb would be looking about 13 billion years back in time to find out what exactly happened after the dark age of the universe ended. It will also hopefully be gathering data of everything that happened during the dark age and whether there was any trace of black holes or not. The Hubble telescope has also tried to unearth the secrets of this universe, but it only managed to scratch the surface. However, James Webb is all set to bring a revolution in the space industry with its endless abilities and infrared light. If James Webb successfully finds out the traces of black holes from the early universe, then it will simply prove just not the new theory but also the much talked about theory of Stephen Hawking that never really got its due recognition. The scientists have never observed dark matter directly, but it still is considered a glue that holds our universe and all the other galaxies together. So the scientists are pretty excited to know more about its existence and how it first came into being. What are your thoughts on the theory of dark matter by Stephen Hawking and do you think dark matter exists? Tell us in the comments. Also, make sure to like this video, land on the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates. We'll see you in the next video. Till then, adios from our side.